Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how to free up disk space in Windows. So if you're running low and you need to make up some space, here's how. First thing, let's decrease your disk usage. The recycle bin is a common place that people use up a lot of space on their machine. So right click on the recycle bin, go into properties, and then you'll see that there's an option for setting up one uh, option here for all drives. And I have it set to like one or two percent of my total disk space. If you have the percentage set really high, then you're using up a lot of space unnecessarily, right? So lower that down. And if you want to check and see, well, how much is 1% of your hard drive? You could always go to the local disk C and then check and see, okay, of my C drive, I'm going to be using 224 megs just for the recycle bin, right? So uh, go ahead and do that tweak. There's another thing that you need to do, and it's the system restore. Okay, and the system restore, if you're using it, you can decrease the space as well. So right click on my computer, go down to properties, and then click on the system restore tab. If you're using it like I am right now, I don't have it turned off, then of course uh, go into the settings here on the right and adjust the slider. So you don't need it to be 2.6 gigs there, just lower it all the way down to what you need it. And uh, if you're just doing a few restores or, or checkpoints, then uh, a few hundred meg or a gig is, is, is more than enough. And then press OK. Obviously, if you're not using it at all, turn it off. Same thing with the Hibernate. If you're not using it, turn it off, right? You'll save a lot of gigs. To disable the Hibernate, right click on your background and then go to Properties and then click on the Screen Saver tab at the top. The Screen Saver has a power option. When you click on the power option at the top, click on hibernate and if you have it enabled just uncheck it if you're not using it uh, you'll see that you'll save two gigs right there by not using the hibernate okay so uh, uncheck it if you're if you're not using it and of course if you have it checked off well you've just uh, used up two gigs just keep that in mind okay if you're using Windows Vista you can open up a command prompt and type power CFG space minus H space off and hit enter and that will do the same thing as uh, going in through the menus. Uh, the other area is a web browser cache, okay? If you're using Internet Explorer here or Firefox or any other browser, there's always an Internet Options, a Preferences section. So click on Tools in Internet Explorer and then go into Internet Options to access the temporary file settings. In there, you'll be able to adjust again the slider bar for that one and decrease it. Right now, if it's being used up a lot, well, decrease it down to a couple hundred meg. You don't need one gig of temporary space set aside for your browser. So it's overkill. So just uh, decrease it down a couple hundred meg and you'll save space right there. Okay, And I'm sure other browsers have similar options as well. Uh, another area that you can um, delete Windows files that are temporary is the following. The C colon backslash Windows System32 DLL cache. Okay, I'm in there deleting files right now, and as you can see, you can save a couple hundred meg no problem by just going in there and deleting those uh, temporary cached files. Okay, another area is C colon backslash Windows temp. Okay, and in there, there's a whole bunch of files in there that you can delete no problem. Uh, obviously, some of those files are being used. Uh, at the time that you're using the computer so you can't delete those and won't allow you to but look for um, dates of files that are really old in there that have never been cleaned up and just delete them uh, you don't need to worry about it they're not being used uh, if they're really old uh, you can delete them without any hassle if they're if they're new files meaning that the date of those files are today's date then obviously you don't want to delete those because they're being used by the machine so you highlight them press delete let them delete them all okay and you just saved yourself uh, it depends anywhere from a couple of meg to maybe a gig you never know how much temp files you have in there another area is the um, documents and settings the administrator local settings temp folder okay so that's a long one but in there there's also a lot of temporary files okay and you can go in there also and delete everything that you can that's old okay so just go by by the date of the files and just delete them okay you can highlight a whole chunk, you can uh, sort it in, in Explorer and then just uh, delete them accordingly that way, okay? And that'll save, again, anywhere from a couple hundred meg to uh, maybe a couple gig. So at the end of the day, by doing all of these things, you could easily free up maybe 10 gigs of space just like that. 
The last thing that you can do is use the Clean Manager program that comes with Windows. So click on Start, then Run, and type Clean MGR. That's one word, Clean MGR. That'll launch the Windows Cleaner. And basically, you'll be able to select your drive and then let it scan it and prepare to clean up files. And what it's doing is it's scanning and looking for temporary files as well and other things like that. So it does a lot of similar removal of junk that's on your machine. And as you can see here, it says that it found 300 megs worth of stuff to delete. And uh, you can go ahead and do that using the cleaner. But the cleaner doesn't really free up all of the, the areas of, of, of Windows. So that's why this is the last resort that you do at the very end. So there you go, a whole bunch of different things that you can do to clean up your PC for Windows. Hope you can free up some space and you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.